Good morning, everybody. We had a pretty good night's sleep with James. But actually, James is there. Our snooze on the couch right now. I'm watching the magic behind the magic of Disney's Animal Kingdom. And look at this opening scene of this next episode. And it makes me feel like we're part of the Animal Kingdom. One of the park's biggest successes, bringing new life into the world. Aww. Aww. Over the last five years, there have been 1,000 births. 1,000 births. 1,001. Hello, hello. It's a big day. We're going to the ROB so Sarah can get her staples removed and then we're gonna run a fun quick errand to a little place called Disney Springs. I'm heating up a bottle right now so I can finish off uh, James's little <coughs> snack. Eve thinks I'm cooking something for her and then Sarah's gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna head out of here. Can you see James in the mirror? Um, so like Peter said, we are headed to the OB now to get the staples removed. Um, hopefully it'll be painless. I don't know. They're staples. I don't know. It'll probably not be enjoyable. Um, but anyways, I wanted to tell you guys that we have, we got the clear to supplement with um, me pumping my breast milk instead of using the formula. Also, him feeding helps with like getting rid of the jaundice. So. Um, I've been able to nurse him and then Peter's still been able to give him like an ounce or two in a bottle um, but I always like start by nursing first so then that way like he he like still is accustomed to um, also feeding that way um, so that's where we are with that I know a lot of you guys had a lot of encouraging words um, as far as like where our journey with um, feeding was going and I'd say it's going pretty well and um yeah I think I just have to get like the timing right of like when I'm pumping and when I'm feeding just to make sure that when I am feeding that we don't run into like they're not being anything for him so the doctor is running 45 minutes behind so we went got Dunkin Donuts got Beyond sandwiches and hash browns and each a donut then we're going to go get Eve some stuff from Petco. Yep, and head on back. Hankering for poutine, so I swiped some real quick while Peter is in World of Disney shopping. So even though we are at Disney Springs, we are keeping James totally outdoors, away from crowds. Um, so Peter had to run in and get a little gift for a little boy named Luca. Um, so he's in World of Disney now, grabbing that. Um, and then we're gonna keep on strolling, but I was like, can I, can I get poutine? Like I've just been having a hankering for it. Um, <laughs> So I just got like the normal poutine. They have all different kinds, like French, Italian. They have like a, a gobbler version, which is similar to like Earl of Sandwich's holiday sandwich, where it's turkey and gravy and cranberry and whatnot. Um, but super yummy. The last piece of Luca's baptism gifts. Ooh. Christmas is in full swing here, if we did not mention oh, that. Oh gosh. Wait, I, I thought you said the boats were going. I thought I saw someone on the Disney internet world that keeps up with facts like we don't all the time say that they were back. Well, not these ones, but I did see the ones by MK. Maybe that's what it was. I just like these ones. These the ones are the best ones in all Disney world. Yeah. Alright, heading over to Earl's Sandwich. Our friends, the Gillespie's, gave us a gift card the week before James was born, so we figured we'd run and pick up a few items here at World of Disney. We might as well pop in and grab it to go. 
pearl sandwich, you know? And of course we had to sit below the gingerbread festivities. 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 We both got holiday sandwiches. I got a Kona beer. Sarah got a good old fashioned Coke. It is November. We're sweating. We're sweating. But feeling good. It's actually really, really nice. It really is. Where is he? There he is, just hanging out. Wait, do you notice that he has an outfit change? Costume change! Third one. Third one since we've been here. And we had to buy that at Uniqlo. Lesson learned, don't bring just one backup outfit, bring two or three. <laughs> but, before we eat, ta-da! Wow. Every episode of Somebody Feed Phil, like whenever he's eating a sandwich, Peter would just be like, that bread! <laughs> that is what Phil does. But, but Peter is a bread connoisseur. And this bread looks delectable. The little lad was missing out on all the fun, so we had to get him out and get some breeze. But I want to show you his mom's sweet kicks that she's rocking today. The Chicago Vans. I was so worried they weren't going to fit after my feet got swollen after labor. Because, like, I know sometimes your feet change size. Yeah. That would have been a travesty. <laughs> but they feel good? Yeah. Comfy? Mm -hmm. I think those are the ones with the extra pad in the, in the bottom. Okay. Unlike the last pair we got that like look good but don't have that extra new padding. Yeah. I wanted to show you this really sweet Santa decoration with his rosy cheeks and everything. Oh my gosh. And it's just on this garland on the back side of Goofy's Candy Co. We're giving uh, James a nice distance tour of Disney Springs. And all the places we used to hang out when... Talking about him. Yeah, when he was in my belly. And I needed to take a rest. Yeah. He begins to stir. He feels the grooves. All right, Sarah and James are hanging out over there taking a break on some chairs. And I'm going to run over to Savannah Bee Company and see if they have more of those bee bads. Because we love them. So instead of the actual Christmas tree trail this year, it's a stroll. This, is, this one is a Fantasia tree. I'm sure we'll be back to look at them all. My favorite part is the topper, the sorcerer hat. As we go to leave, we spotted his guitar. Brian Malpass is back, but we can't wait. We have to go back to Eve and get James home. But Brian Malpass is here. Many hours later. We got our spode cups out because boom, we got some tea going. Sarah's got some herbal hoodoo voodoo, something to do with breastfeeding. And I have biscuits. It's called mother's milk tea. Mother's milk tea. And then I have, I don't even know what's mine. It's biscuits and gravy. Not biscuits and gravy. Hold on. Where is it? Malty Biscuit brew. Tastes like tea and biscuits. That's what I have, I love it. Which was sent to us by one of our lovely friends from across the pond. So, I once again took advantage of Sarah's sometimes sporadic late night hunger. I looked at her and I just felt something. Let's order pizza. And she looked at me and went, what kind? So, pizza's arriving in 20 minutes. James has been asleep for a while. We've been well, killing it jointly. Sarah did the, the edited the vlog. It's a late posting one. 10.30 p.m. It's going live right now. I did, folded a bunch of laundry. Got a huge load in the dryer right now. Put stuff away. Hung stuff away. Look at this cute sweater. It's part of like an AP set. The rest is in the dryer, but look at this cute sweater. From my VP. I, I have to like email her and thank her I don't know if it's from her or from the department or who. Also, um, the cotton balls and alcohol on the coffee table because I still am finding adhesive on me from my surgery. Did we give an update that your staples are out and you and they were they are great? Um, now we did. If we didn't, Sarah's got her staples out from her incision from her cesarean section, and our doctor feels terrible about all the fun stuff that happened at the hospital. But he's a he's a champ, and he's it was. Mad because we didn't, I wasn't in there and Sarah doesn't have her phone. Really wanted to be there too. He really wanted to be there too. Um, he's a great doctor, and I finally get to meet him 
because the next appointment is a six weeks poke powder and it's gonna be through FaceTime. First reveal of the pizza. Really delicious looking, really oh bad from my stomach feeling. And Sarah didn't know about those. I didn't. I remember these were in my valley last time. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but. Seriously? The cutest. We need to get some real photos of him after birth, replacing those. All right, T today is Tuesday the 10th. Oh, just two more days left of my leave. Nelson Mandela, a good head and a good heart are always a formidable combination. I dig it. Great words, Nelson. We are sleepy. And our baby's asleep in the past night already. So we need to go to bed. Keep our fingers crossed he stays asleep until 8 a.m. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.